When you have an art YouTube channel, you tend to get a lot of questions from artists, and I'm more than happy to answer those. But the thing is, I don't think a lot of artists are really prepared for the answer or really want to hear it. Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And we're going to work on some robots today in just a minute. But uh, we've got a topic, as always. And uh, one, so a lot of my topics come from questions I get. Um, and a lot of these questions have to do with time. Um, how long does it take to, to become a good artist, to get good at art? How long uh, does it take to build an audience? How long does it take to find a style? How long does it take to make money doing my art? And those are questions that unfortunately I really can't answer because it's different for everyone. Um, but you know, if I, could, if I had a crystal ball and I could reach into the future and if I could answer those questions for you, the answer is probably going to be a lot longer than you'd like it to take. Um, it, it doing these type of things just take a long time. I mean, there's there's really no way around it. So we've got to power through that. In order to power through that, um, we need help. We need we need some some ways to cope with that because I mean that's. It's it's really hard when you start to think that it's going to take so long to reach our goals and everything. So how do we how do we not get discouraged? How do we move on and continue doing it, knowing that it's going to take a long time, and knowing and and just you know having faith in the fact that somewhere down the line it's going to happen. But you know you got to put in the time. So uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Just some just some things to think about. Um, knowing that these things are going to take a long time. So we're going to work on a blueprint sketch today. I think I am going to work on a blueprint robot barbarian. Uh, so that should be fun. So let's get to that. Okay, so now that we've got most of the unpleasantries out of the way and we've resigned ourselves to the fact that most everything we do uh, to make our art better or to promote ourselves or our art is going to take some time. You know, uh, you've probably heard this before, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, I mean, yeah, we, we've got to be ready to play the long game. Um, it's it's not going to come quickly. And in some cases, you know, some cases things happen and just somebody can blow up. But you really, you, you just cannot count on that. And and there's even, even like, say, going viral and things like that. Um, you still have to you still have to prepare in other ways uh, not only because you can't count on that but what do you do after that um, and I'll get into that in a little bit um, but uh, so we need to what we need to do is we need to look at our art career or or the time we're putting into our career or even if it's just something we do for fun but we want to get better or whatever um, as an investment and investments grow over time. You you put a little bit in here and gradually that will grow, but you aren't going, chances are, you're not gonna invest in something and then the next day it's just gonna, you know, you're just gonna see these crazy dividends right away. The important thing is to build a foundation. So how do you do that? Well, you do that brick by brick. Uh, <laughs> the first few bricks that you put down, it's not gonna look like much, you know? but. But the more you start building and adding and, you know, as that construction goes forward, it starts to become a house or building or, or, or whatever. Uh, and that's, it's the same way with developing your, your art or promoting yourself. So let's talk about promoting ourselves. One of the way we do this, or the, probably the most common ways we do this nowadays is through social media. And um, what I'm doing right now through YouTube, that's probably my, my main way that I, I do try to promote myself is here on YouTube. So if you're starting out on YouTube um, and you're making videos and you're just, again, you're just starting out, you, you may, you know, you may feel like, well, why am I doing this? Why am I spending all this time making these videos and like no one's watching I got like five views or ten views or twenty views it's like like it's a lot of work to make these videos it's like I, I put all this time in it and like no one's watching and you, and you get discouraged from that and you might feel like you're wasting your time but let, let me tell you this this is very important you are not wasting your time if what you're doing is you're building an inventory of these videos and people might not watch the first few, but having those videos is very important. 
because what happens so let's say you know everyone wants to go viral they want they want they want success quick or whatever so let's say one of your videos goes viral and then people are like oh I love this video let's go to their their page and check out what else they have their YouTube page or whatever and there's nothing there you know you've only got a few videos it's like well oh that video was cool but you know I don't know if I'm gonna subscribe because they don't really have much going on and you see this with a lot of people I've, I've met people that just had they just put a video up on, on a lark and that's fine and it, it's for whatever reason somehow it, it blew up and and then people come back to see what they have and they don't have anything and they're trying to play catch up <laughs> they're like oh I gotta get some stuff I gotta roll with this momentum but they're not prepared they're not prepared for when something does go viral because they don't they haven't built that foundation they haven't built in inventory so that's something that I have you know I don't I've never really gone viral um, but if I do I know that I'm prepared to the point where and this this can happen on a smaller scale for me because maybe somebody checks out a video that's recommended or something and then they go to my YouTube page and then they look and again I've got all these videos I'm like oh this is this is a worthy investment in my this is something that I I should subscribe to because and I get you know I I've get messages from people and you know and maybe I'll check them out and everything and if they don't have a lot going on on their YouTube page I probably won't subscribe because I don't know because a lot of people are kind of in this mode that we're talking about where they're just starting off and then they get frustrated and they just give up they don't play that long game so I want to know somebody is somebody you know is in is is willing to play that game who is willing to put in the time and everything before I'm going to invest my time into them and and maybe subscribe to their channel because I know that they this is something that maybe they like doing that they're gonna keep doing because I don't want all of these different channels where oh they maybe put out like five videos and then they just give up because personally before I'm willing to invest I want to know that that other person has invested and is building a thing uh, where these early videos that you might do maybe they don't seem like they have any value to be to you because they only have like a, a few views but those things become part of a larger whole so all these different things add up so while it might not seem that these early videos that don't have a lot of views have any value when you add them together with everything else that you're doing it has tremendous value now there's other things you can do too if you're just starting off and maybe you're like oh you know there's you just don't see uh, the amount of time you're putting into this and the amount of people seeing it it just to you it doesn't doesn't add up um, well I'm kind of dealing that with that right now I've just launched a newsletter and I'm doing these exclusive videos now these videos are only getting like I think between like 10 to maybe 15 views because of the you know I've got under a, under 200 people on my newsletter and out of that only a certain percentage are actually going to open the newsletter and after that only a certain percentage of people are going to um, are actually going to going to go and check out the video so it's a very small percentage now I could because I'm used to getting quite a bit more views than that I could say well this is you know I'm beyond this this isn't worth it for me but there's a couple different things I'm doing one of them is I'm, I'm going to repurpose those videos so somewhere down the line I may want to do like a patreon and everything and I'm gonna have all these exclusive videos that I'm not gonna put on my regular YouTube channel because you know I want them to be exclusive for the people that are really invested which is the people on the newsletter and, but later on I can start releasing those also to as exclusive content through say a patreon or something like that so it's not like it's not like I put them out there and they don't perform and that's it I still they still can have you know they still can have life after after the original you know posting and everything um, and as my newsletter continues to grow those videos will also continue to get more views and everything and I understand that because I know that this is in fact a marathon and not a sprint and partially a lot of that comes to comes from me having done this for so long when I was a little more inexperienced maybe I didn't quite know that you know I, I I was probably in the same shoes as a lot of other people and it seems that it seems like younger people are the people that expect it to all kind of come easy and are frustrated when it doesn't but the thing is 
younger people have something that that's this us older people don't have and that is time and time is our most precious commodity it's our most valuable commodity um, you guys you younger people you have the time to invest in all this kind of stuff I mean I wish I could I wish I could turn back the hands of time and like not waste all of it and I would have I would have been a lot further along and I would have just the things I would be able to do um, if I wouldn't have wasted time in the beginning uh, it's really amazing because you can't you can't buy back that time I mean there are there in some ways there are certain ways you can buy back time because you can say not you know if you have the wherewithal you could uh, you can say instead of doing your own yard work, you could pay somebody to do your, your own your yard work, and then you would have you know you'd have that time to spend on other things that maybe you think are more important. So in some ways, you can kind of buy back time, and that's the same ways companies work. I mean, the the owner of the company can't do all this stuff, so they pay other people to do those tasks for them. But not all of us have that luxury where or the ability where we can pay somebody to sort of kind of buy back time. I mean, <laughs> it, it, again, it's not the same thing as just having that time and, and having all this time ahead of you. And, you know, and, and that's the case with a lot of young people where maybe when you're first starting off, I know I was the case, this was the case with me, I didn't have a lot of money and I couldn't, you know, it, I couldn't like say, well, I'm gonna, I'm going to spend create a, a budget so I can advertise my work to get it out there and I'm going to allocate X amount of money to do that. Um, when you get further along you can do that and that can maybe help you know help you get a little further along. You can do a lot with money <laughs> but you know you can't buy time and when you're younger you have that time so don't waste it. Get a head start. You, you I mean, I see so many young people that have just done this incredible job of like building their their social media and and their brand and everything. And I mean, they're just they've set themselves up pretty much for life. I mean, things down the road can change, and you never know what's going to happen. But but they started early. Some of these kids, you know, started on YouTube when they were you know teenagers, and then when they get into their twenties or whatever, you know. They can kind of write their own ticket, and me having not done that, or being too old, or not, or waiting to get on YouTube, or just not fitting with that demographic that is YouTube, which skews a lot younger. So I mean, a lot of younger people don't want to watch some old guy in a lab coat uh, tell them how to tell them about doing art or whatever. So so my audience tends to be a little older, but the few people that younger people that are watching, or you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that, and hopefully I can you know impart some wisdom and everything, but. But largely, if I was younger, I have a younger demographic, and that can help out too. So there's all these other things. But but you're if you're younger, you're really in a position um, to really um, you know just get a head start, and you know just try not to waste that time because you can never get it back. Okay, there you go. Here it is. Here is our blueprint robot barbarian. That was a fun one to do. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully that that helps. Uh, that'll help you with the grind as far as putting in the time and getting better and 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 all the things you need to do. It, no matter what you're gonna anything anything we do as artists, chances are it's gonna take quite a bit of time. Um, so hopefully that stuff will help you in your journey and uh, good luck on your journey and we're all there right with you we're all you know leave a if you got questions or anything like that leave those in the comment section this is a great community it's great to talk to other artists because we all go through this same kind of same kind of thing and uh, people that have been doing it for a while like myself we've been through this so we know what you guys are going through um, so no matter where you at where your skill level is where you are in your journey I think everyone has something in common that we could all share and we can all help each other out with so uh, don't be a stranger in the comment sections uh, let me know you're out there and uh, yeah I will see you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at Cirkworks on social media do you like making comics then go to Cirkworks.com and pick up the comic maker starter kit it's packed full of fonts brushes templates and more and best of all it's totally free